welcome to Halloween week of story time. What? I hope you're at home dressed up in your costume if you're watching. But if you're watching later, whenever you watch, you feel free to dress up as many times as you want. <laughs> right, Christina? <laughs> yes, because we are celebrating Halloween week again this week, my loves. We have such a fun week last week. Today we're going to keep talking about Halloween because Halloween is a Saturday. What? We're also going to talk about, I hope you had so much fun with the amazing crafts and decorations we did last week. And if you're looking for some more of them with your parents, just scroll back in our Facebook page and you'll find the links right there that you and some of the videos right there that you can look at and do over again if you want to or start them up if you haven't started them yet. They're totally awesome. So Miss Mel's dressed up again today. What am I dressed up as? What? A skeleton? What? Do I? Now, wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. First of all, we have to give big skeleton hugs today. We got to give good mornings and big skeleton hugs. So on the count of three, let's give a big hug to each other, my loves. One, two, three. Oh, I'm going to squeeze her in. <laughs> so my loves, who's joining us again today? What, Mr. Carl? Carl? <laughs> Dive bomb hug! <laughs> Mr. Carl's joining us today. Hello, my loves. Oh, he loves, 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 loves Halloween weeks. He totally does. So he got extra excited. We were talking about bones, our dilly bones today. We're talking about all kinds of bones, skeletons. And you know what? Carl, would you want to hear a story about more skeletons? I think that would be cool. He wanted us to ask a question today. Okay, do we have our listening ears on? Okay, make sure to check. Can we all check our listening ears? Make sure they're on. Oh, 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 oh my left. Oh, oh, almost. There we go. Miss Mel's listening ears are on. Are yours? All right, my love. So Miss Mel has a big question for you today. Raise your hand if you think all humans have skeletons. <gasps> what? Good job! If you raised your hand at home and said yes to it, we have all... High five, buddy! That's awesome! High 10! <laughs> or high 15, if you count what a skeleton had. <laughs> so we all human beings have skeletons underneath our skin. And last week, during our Once Upon a True Story time, we learned how to say skull. Underneath our skin, we have a skull. And we learned how to say that in Spanish last week. Can everybody remind Miss Miller and Christina, Bunny, and Carl how we said that? Calaveras. Calaveras are our skulls. So, you know what? We are going to talk about our bones, our skeletons. Because our story today is super awesome. Skeletons are not spooky. Ooh, no, they're not. No, they're not. Our skeletons aren't spooky. And you know what? It's okay if we feel they're a little spooky because you know what? We all fear something. And you know what, Miss Mel? Remind Miss Mel what's to remind you of what I always say. If we're a little fearful about something, let's try to learn more about it because you know, as we learn more about it, we become a little less fearful about it, right? Because we know more about it. So today we're going to say, skeletons are not spooky. What? Let me feel your bones. Can you feel your bones underneath your skin? Oh, let's see. Let's give a good feel. Can we feel our finger bones? Which these are called the phalanges. We got our finger bones. We got our arm bones, our leg bones. What? <laughs> let's wiggle, jiggle, and shake out our bones before we start our story. Give yourself a good wiggle, jiggle. Skeletons are not spooky by Duds and Kane. This is a most awesome book, and I love it. Okay, let's start. Now, this is super duper important. Skeletons are not spooky. Repeat it with me. Ready on the count of three. One, two, three. Skeletons are not spooky. Now, here's a list of not spooky stuff. Rainbows, butterflies, avocados, narwhals, skeletons. Skeletons are not spooky. Ready? Let's say it together. Skeletons are not spooky. Marshmallows, socks, and french fries. <laughs> That's very true. That's very true. In fact, skeletons do all of the completely unspooky stuff and fun things that you do every single day. 
Hmm, what should we do today? Mr. Skeleton said to his cat. Hmm, let's think about what we should do today. So they think about things they need to do for the day too. Like, enjoy the nutritious breakfast of toe jam on toast with delicious earthworm smoothies. Okay, that could be good. You know, you never know. <laughs> do it. <laughs> I see a little fancy about that one. I don't know, Tonya. Going to school with all of their buddies? What? As they get on the slides, Mr. Skeleton goes, Wahoo, Frank! Because Frankie's going down the slide there. <laughs> and playing make believe with all of their favorite toys? What? Mr. He's a pirate princess ballerina. That's amazing. See, in honor of that, Miss, Miss Christina wore her tutu again today. <laughs> That's amazing. And he gives a big roar. Roar. Can you give a good pirate roar? Roar. Skeletons love, 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 love getting snuggles. Oh, give your parents a big snuggle right now, my loves. Give them a big snuggle. Oh, they love getting snuggles at nap time. Oh, well. Anytime, really, they love getting snuggles from their mummy. <laughs> and mummy kisses. And spider tickles always make them laugh. Ah! Spider tickles! <laughs> ah! <laughs> oh, Carl gives the best spider tickles ever. Oh my goodness, you got the bones, Carl. <laughs> Spider tickles. It's true, and sometimes bath time can get a bit hairy. What is happening right now? I'm taking a bath with a werewolf. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's amazing. That's totally amazing. And brushing teeth sometimes can get interesting for our skeleton. He sometimes takes his tooth out. What? The jaw bones connected to the... <laughs> but every good skeleton knows to get a good night's sleep. Do you get a good night's sleep, my loves? You go to bed early and wake up early? Absolutely, we have to. A good night's sleep helps our bones, helps our body stay fresh and healthy. And after a bedtime story, of course, whew, well, that's a relief. His bedtime story today was people are not spooky. <laughs> yeah, people aren't spooky either sometimes. Oh, and see, that's not very spooky. Skeletons are fun. They love to dance. He, he said, Mr. Skeleton said to the one-eyed monster, let's boogie. <laughs> wiggle, jiggle, wiggle those bones. Now, and the most amazing not at all spooky. Fun fact about skeletons is no matter where you're from, young or old, big or small, everyone has a skeleton. So true. Each one of us has a skeleton. Check it out. Your right hand, put your right hand here. Put your right hand right there. Miss Mel's going to do it too. We're going to put our right hand right on the book. So I'm going to put it right on there for you. Can you put your hand up to the screen? Can you put your hand on your, that skeleton hand? Good job, good job. Because you know what? Underneath our skin, we have bones. We have skeleton bones, just like these. We're gonna put our right hand on there. What? Thank you, Mr. Skeleton, that's awesome. Can you feel your bones in there? Let's feel our bones in our hands. If we put our hand on this page, Ms. Mel's gonna put it up again for you. Put our right hand on that page and put your hand up to the screen, and let's feel your skeleton bones underneath. Can you feel your skeleton bones? Feel your bones. <laughs> Does that feel weird cool? We all have a skeleton, seriously. So make sure to treat it well, it's yours forever. So my loves, what does it mean when we treat our skeletons well? When we ride a bike, we put our helmets on, right Christina? protect our skeleton, our, our skull protects our brain. We need to protect that good brain in there and our skull. When we go out, maybe sometimes if we skateboard or we go out and do different things that we know we're gonna use wheels or, or roller skate, we need to put pads on our knees, maybe our shins, 
maybe our legs be, and, and our elbow pads, we need to protect our skeleton because our skeleton protects other things in our body and it's very important. And see, Mr. Skeleton has one. And then there you are, you have one. And then Kitty Cat has one too, me too. And, uh oh, Worm doesn't have one, not me, because there are some animals and insects that don't have skeletons. But Christina has a skeleton. Christina, do you have a skeleton? What? Raise your skeleton bones up pop. What? What? <laughs> oh, no. Boo. I'm not afraid of you. Boo. Ha! Huh? Just kidding. <laughs> little skeleton, little joke there. Trick or treat. <laughs> now, our skeletons are made of bones, which many of which have some pretty funny names. So we're going to look at the funny names our skeleton bones have. Now, our skeleton bones at the tops of our fingers, all these skeleton bones, some of these skeleton bones right at the tops are called the phalanges. What? Can you say that together? Phalanges? And then, now here are our bones and our toes are jam makers. What? No, they're not. They're phalanges too, but we like a cute name of jam makers. Now, let's see. Our skull, which we said in Spanish is calaveras, our skull. And then we have our humerus bones in our arm. There we go. And our radius and ulna in our arms. And then our humerus. And then we have our ribs. What? And then our pelvis bone. Right down here. Should Miss Mel show you? There we go. Our pelvis bone. <laughs> what? I got my rib bones and I got my pelvis bones. And I got my tibia and fibulas. Can we see that together? Our tibulas and fibulas. What? I got my bones here. Tibulas and fibulas. And I got my femurs. My femurs. Let me see my femurs. <laughs> and I'm going to show you what we got right here, my loves. These are some of the bones. What? And check on your toes. They're not really jam makers. Fingers and toes are both called phalanges. So this is super duper awesome. And you know what, my loves, I'm going to encourage everyone. We have some awesome books on bones and the human anatomy in our libraries. So you know at Delco Libraries, you can get some awesome bone books in our amazing and learn so much more about it. It's so cool. Some of the skeleton diagrams are in there too, and they're so cool. And you know what? It's awesome to learn about because it's learning about our bodies. And you know what? We all have skeletons. It's so cool. So you can order some of those bone books. Check on our library catalog because you can order some of those bone books right for curbside pickup, my love. So check it out with your parents. It's super awesome. I've checked out a lot of them. They're very cool. So today, my loves, Miss Mel promised you another craft, the most awesome halloween -y craft for today. So now last week, we did some awesome crafts, and we're going to show you the ones we did. We did our tin can monsters. What? For bowling? We did our awesome printable monster balloons for decoration. You can hang up on your walls with mom and, and with our parents' permission, of course. And you can also hang them from the ceiling with some string if you have it and some tape. They're super duper awesome. Now, the printables that you we created were on our link. And today, Miss Mel has two links up there. We have two links up there. We have the first link, which is if you go under Balloon Monsters, you and your parents can print out these amazing printables, which we're going to use for our craft today. They have eyes. They're five printables. Feet. They have wings and unicorn horns. They have arms. What? And you know what? We're going to use paper plates today. So, Miss Mel, you're going to need scissors for this project. And remember, scissors sharp, so we always use it with parental supervision. We don't want to hurt ourselves. So you know what, with our parents today, or whenever you see this video, we're gonna take our paper plates, our one paper plate, and we're gonna cut it in half. Now, for the back of this, for your mask holder, you can use a straw, you can use a chopstick, you can use a pencil, an unsharpened pencil. You can use a lot of different things, my loves, to hold this mask up. And you can even, with your parents, of course, punch your holes with a sharpened pencil or if you have a hole puncher at home or scissors, you can put holes in before you put the eyes on or while you put the eyes on, put the holes in so you can see out of your mask, okay? So we're gonna cut our paper plate in half, right? 
and we're gonna color, color, color our paper plate, whatever color you want. Miss Mel colored an orange one, we colored a blue one, and stuck some awesome monster printable pieces on those. So in our first link today, up at top of our video, we have a link with the monster balloon printables. So if you go under the monster balloon printables, you can print on the printables, which you are five of. And you know what? These are so cool. Or if you can't print them out, no worries. You can still draw your favorite monster faces on paper and cut those monster faces out because you guys are all amazing. You create some amazing things and I love them all. We've created so many cool things over the years and I love them. So when you print these out or you create them yourself, we're gonna color, color, color our amazing paper plate, whatever color you want. Now you can use crayons, you can use markers, you can use paint, you can use whatever's gonna color your monster paper plates really, really a bright color. Miss Mel used markers today. And we colored them in really super well. So we're gonna color them in really well. You could even do a rainbow. <clears throat> What? We love rainbows. You can do whatever you want for your monster, my loves. So, and then we took our printables and like Miss Mel said, use your, use your scissors with your parents. They're very sharp, right, Christina? We always use them together, never apart. And then you, as you print them out, as you cut them out, you can tape them or glue them or glue dot them onto your paper plate masks. And like Miss Mel said, you can create with your parents holes in the eyes so you could see through these masks. These are awesome! And then you take your chopstick, your pencil and sharpened pencil. You take your straw. Miss Mel used straws. You take your reusable straw. Miss Mel used a reusable straw. And then you tape them right on the back, whether you're left-handed or you're right-handed. So that's going to depend on where you tape your straw or your pencil or what, what, it, what we talked about today. And then... You can make these cool monster masks. Miss Mel made three, so I'm gonna show you which ones I made. I made this one, and I made, we made this one, <laughs> and we made this one. What? We made some awesome printable masks today. What? They're totally cool. And you could be so many different monsters, as many monsters as you want. You create as many as you'd like. They're so super cool. So today, my loves, we have that link in our printable option today, in our video today. That's our first link. And our second link, click on it. It's a short, kid-friendly, most awesome song video that shows you about bones. It is so adorable and cute. And it's a song that teals the head bones connected to the neck bone it's an awesome song and it's so cool and it's very cute with some cutie patootie skeleton bones right christina we had fun singing it all week and weekend <laughs> so check that out today my loves it's a very short video check it out with your parents click on the link so we have those two links in there for you to enjoy today or whenever you watch our video today my loves so happy halloween we got some more halloween fun tomorrow at 10 30 and miss nell's gonna be and christina buddy and carl are gonna be here and we're gonna be dressed up again tomorrow what high five my friend high five <laughs> Awesome, my love. So have a great day. Enjoy the day. And we'll see you tomorrow for another spooktacular time. Bye-bye.